Hello, I'm Lindy. I farm alpacas in West Gippsland. Uh, we have about 20 alpacas. They're all black wakayas. So a wakaya is a, an alpaca that has its fleece growing out at right angles to its body like a sheep. There are also suris who have long dreadlocks, but we like our wakayas. I particularly like black alpacas because there is no chemical added to our fleece. The fleece that comes off the animal is the colour that we get in the yarn. There's no chemicals added at all. Um, there are 22 colours of alpacas, so everybody gets to have their own choice. And they, the colours range from white through to black and all different shades in between. Alpacas are very inquisitive, intelligent animals. Um, they'll, as long as they're not feeling threatened, they'll happily come up to people to see what's happening. They're um, always interested in their surroundings. They're always very much on alert. Um, they're not cats or dogs, so they don't like necessarily like to be patted until they build up a trust in people. Um, and even when you do pat them, they like to be patted on the back or down the neck. Patting them on the head is not what they want. Um, they're sight animals, so they want their eyes free so they can see if there's any danger around. Um, the way we manage our alpacas here, they are kept in paddocks because we're, um, we obviously have to keep them on our own property. But alpacas are very much herd animals too, so they want to be together with their friends. They want to be part of a social group. So you very, very rarely hear of an alpaca that jumps out of a paddock and runs away. Sometimes they might slip out of the fence lines because they've reached out for a tasty bit of grass or something, but then they're standing there wanting to be back in with their mates because that's what they want. They want to be part of a group. They feel happier and safer if they're all part of a group. On farms in Australia, we keep our male alpacas separate from female alpacas so that the, the girls can quietly graze and um, produce their babies. Um, they like, when I say they graze, they, they eat all sorts of things. They're known as selective browsers. So primarily they want to eat the grass, but they would also love to have a nibble on an overhanging tree or something different that's growing. The most important thing for breeders and farmers to know is that some things are poisonous. So obviously you have to be watching for, animal, for um, vegetation that is poisonous because that might hurt your alpaca. But, um, essentially they'll have a, have a little nibble at anything and try it, see whether they like it. We get a great big table full of fleece off each animal and it might be quite a few kilos off a big animal. I'm just showing you a little bit and you'll see but in, amongst all the fibres, there's still little bits of grass, dried grass. You might even find a pellet of feed that they've eaten. Because if they've got a big buffy fleece on, bits get caught in that. Just like sometimes you can get hay or grass in your hair. Um, so when it comes off the animal, it's spread it out on a skirting table, a wire mesh table. And try and take as much dust and... Um, vegetable matter, grass and so on out of it. And that can take up to an hour for each fleece. And we also only take the fleece off the saddle of the animal. That's the most important part. Exactly where a horse's saddle would go, round its tummy from side to side. So you can still use the bits on the legs and the neck, but they can be too short. But the saddle fleece gets skirted, sent off to the mill, and the mill, at the mill, they will wash it maybe a couple of times. 
Don't want to do it too much because they lose too much fiber and we don't want to get it matted together. We still want it lovely and light and fluffy like this. It's washed and sometimes some conditioning oil is put through it. Um, and then it goes to another machine, through another couple of stages, but eventually it comes to this, which is called a roving. So the machine has put all the fibres in the same line, so it has a long, long uh, run of fibre. And eventually it gets spun through to work, come down to what, like knitting yarn, and it can be in different. Um, thicknesses that most alpaca fleece would be turned into yarn like this um, because even the finer yarn can then be made into fabric and this is an off cut from a blanket so alpaca fleece can be used when it's made into, into a yarn can be used for knitting yarn it can be made for fabric it can be for uh, clothing it could be for bedding Sometimes people use raw fleece in dunas and pillows and so on. Um, firefighters even have masks that have a little bit of alpaca fibre in them because of its thermal properties and it's fire resistant. Um, and so that's the process of milling.